Hey guys, what's up? It's another J Rob 447 video back at it again. And today we got some Madden NFL 2000, not 2000, but 25. And I have to talk about a lot today. Uh, today, I know I'm coming out with this video kind of late simply because I had a baseball game today. I didn't know I had a baseball game today. That was the problem. Uh, see, what had happened was it rained on, we were supposed to have a game on Wednesday and Thursday, but it rained both of those days. Now, Thursday, it kind of cleared up during the end of the day, and the announcements earlier and later said that there was no JV baseball game, because it got canceled. Now, me and my friend, who were in the same class, thought that there was no practice, so we went home. Come back to school today, I hear that there's a game. So I got to call up my mom, so to bring my uniform, because I, dead serious, looked at my uniform and was like, nah, I'm not going to need it, we're going to have practice. Unfreaking believable but yeah, I played in the game, uh, basically, we did lose the game, but when I got into the game, I got hit by a pitch, so I took my base, I stole the base, I advanced on a pass ball, and I scored a run, so I guess I did pretty good for my limited action in that game. So anyway, we're gonna get back to this game, Brock Osweiler is the quarterback, he is 6'8", he used to play basketball, but he did not choose that path, but he is huge. He's six eight. Good lord. Good lord. Anyway, uh he's out of Arizona State if you guys know. Uh and he just scored a touchdown. I think that was to Eric Decker. I might not be correct. But they do strike first in Orlando. In Orlando it is raining. And what do you expect? It's Florida. It's always raining. And yeah, also what I have to talk about. It's a video scheduling. I know I'm getting putting out videos like erratically. Some of you guys are getting disinterested into it. The thing is, I'm trying to save videos for the summertime so I can schedule them because I'm going to be away for six weeks. Last time it was four weeks. I did okay with that. This time I want to do it even better, but now I have six weeks. So that means once June starts, I'm going to have to start um, scheduling videos. And it's gonna be it's gonna be really 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 hard. All right. So hopefully none of you guys like get a little mad at me for doing that. I'm doing it out of the best interest. And also I need a suggestion. Should I bring back my Georgia State Dynasty? Uh, how should I say this summertime, or should I bring it back? Uh, let's say in the middle of May. I'm not sure. I could bring it back in the middle of May. Uh, there's not going to be a NCAA football game coming out anytime soon. So next year I'm planning on doing a Road to Glory. Because there's nothing better to do. But once that MLB comes out, you guys will get two new series. Maybe even three if I think about it. Diamond Dynasty. I kind of like that mode from last year. Maybe I'll give you some a little of that. Uh, one series that I really like. I don't really like it. And it's not really going anywhere. Is the My Career series. Honestly, I don't even play it. I'd rather play my GM in the game. And we do score the touchdown with Terrell Pryor to Ted Ginn eating some soup. That boy is so move. And he was one of our free agents that we got this summer, if you guys remember. But yeah, uh, I kind of like playing the my GM uh, mode better. I'm, I'm sorry. it's That's just how I like it. And also, here's the replay of this touchdown pass to Anthony McCoy. He has a great tight end on his team. I, where do, I don't even know where to start with this kid. He is amazing. Amazing. So, yeah, basically, you're going to get two new series. Uh, I'm going to keep the My Career series. I have nothing better to do, as I said, with that. So, yeah, you're going to get that. Um, the Madden, the, the My GM series is actually, I'm very far ahead. I recorded all the way up to the playoffs. I'm not going to say which part of the playoffs because I'm not going to ruin it. But yeah. And the Madden series, I'm still ahead in the recordings. I just haven't been to the playoffs yet. I haven't played Madden in a long time. But that's Brock Eiswaller and his team scoring another touchdown. And, you know, it's tied up right now. It's tied up right now. But I believe if we, you know, just put us best foot forward, we can have a chance to win the game. So that is Ted getting back there, returning the kick. And he's going to get out to the, about the 23-yard line. John Fox, former coach of the Carolina Panthers. You guys know I'm a big, huge Carolina fan, Panthers fan. And uh, John Fox, we had some great times with John. 
great times with John. But you know, we had to uh, part ways. Ron Rivera, I did not like him as a coach. Honestly, I still really don't favor him at all. But you know what? It's all right. And that's an incomplete pass right there. But yeah, I really don't favor Ron Rivera that much. Just like Coach Mike Woodson of the Knicks who recently got fired. I really don't favor him that much either. So anyway, also, uh, the NBA playoffs are on. Uh, what do you guys think of that? I really... NBA playoffs is really exciting. Even though the Knicks aren't in it, I'm really rooting for the Trailblazers. Uh, the Wizards already made it to the second round. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? I'm going for the Hawks. If the Hawks can win that series, that would be crazy, son. And the Clippers. Of course, the Clippers. The controversy going on with Donald Sterling. It, it's, it's just ridiculous. Racism. Come on now. This is... Come on. We gotta stop that. We gotta make a change for the world. The dude being racist. I mean, he is 80. They banned him for life, which is about five years left. Let me stop. That's kind of OD. But yeah. So Terrell probably drops back. He threw off his back foot, I believe. Um, and that is Taiwan Jones with the reception. Uh, we're not. We're going for it on fourth down. Let's see if we can get Terrell Pryor trying to get it. But that see now, if this was real, he would have got the first down because he would have dove for it. But you know, Madden's unrealistic, and that is our linebacker right there. Dropped back into the zone and predicted it perfectly. So we're going to fortunately get the ball back, and that's exactly what we needed because we need to get this lead. We need to extend the lead, and Darren Sproles runs to the outside again for about 10 yards. Darren Sproles is a really nice running back. He fits our system pretty well. Uh, we are not running back orient oriented. Uh, he can get a 100-yard game if he wanted to, honestly. We just try to, uh, you know, improve our passing game, our running game. We do like to run that QB draw. I mean, not the draw, but the um, the option. Not the option. Is it the option? Oh, the QB read. Oh, the replay. Yeah, we like to work that. And that was a nice run when we ran the read right there with Terrell Pryor. That's why we run it, because it works. It works. All right? It works. And Madden, uh, you can exploit that play all the damn time in this game. And that is Darren Sproles going in for the touchdown. Ooh! Get the Gronkowski on him. He had to do it on him. But as you can see, the Broncos are knocking on the door. And they break it down. So they score another touchdown. And we are now down in this game. So we're going to have to try to claw our way back. Well, actually, we're not down. Uh, it's 21-24. So, yeah, we're still up by three. But yeah, we need to extend this lead if we want to help our chances of making the playoffs and have bigger and better things. Because at the beginning of the season, I said we're going to make the playoffs. And if I don't make the playoffs, then it's going to be my fault. Playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. But yeah. Anyway, Terrell Pryor, he's calling the audible, I guess. Drops back. And uh, he throws the ball while being hit. And his wide receiver cannot hang on to the ball. I understand that because it is raining. Outside, so yeah, yeah. But also, what are you guys doing for summer? You know, uh, summer is upon us in about a month, a month in a, a month in a few weeks, and yeah. So, what are you guys gonna do? School year went pretty fast for me, honestly. I did a lot of things I didn't know I was gonna do, honestly, and we just turned over the ball. Great job, Terrell Pryor. Great job. <coughs> Yeah, I did a lot of good things in school this year. Did a lot of things I didn't know I was capable of. Like playing baseball. Like, I'm doing way better than I expected. I didn't... Well, I didn't really have a lot of expectations coming into the season, but... Hey, I'm doing... I'm doing fine. My coach said that I really improved from the first week. Like, I... And I really think I did improve from the first week. I believe it. I believe it. I couldn't catch a fly ball for my life. Now I'm doing it like clockwork. So, Brock Osweiler is going with an empty backfield. Empty! And they're going to throw a pass, and it's going to be a first down. We need to stop these guys if we want to win the game. But, you know, it, this is our weather. Yet, they're excelling at our own weather, which is not good at all. And what type of home field advantage do we even have? If we can't excel in our own weather. Unfreaking believable, isn't it? 
So anyway, they're knocking on the doorstep yet again. They're inside the 20-yard line. He's going to drop back. Finds his wide receiver for a touchdown. I let him score on purpose. I let that guy score on purpose so we can get the ball and hopefully score. So well, Pride drops back, finds his receiver for the first down. And we're going to have to get this hurry up offense initiated. So Terrell Pryor sets his receivers out. Strops back. He's going to find his receiver for another first down going out of bounds. Conserving that time. And we're going out of bounds again, Ted Ginn. We're working the corners here. We're working those corners. Sounds like a prostitute. But anyway, oh, we almost had that. That was a mess up by me. I really messed that play up. My bad. All right. My bad. My bad. So, yeah. It's Ralph Breyer dropped back. Oh, it gets sacked. And this is going to be the last play of the game. Let's see if he can get it. And no. The Orlando Sentinels are going to end up losing this game. Thank you for watching. This has been another J-Rock video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. We fought, but we lost. Story of my life.